Chapter Two: Discovering the Success Mechanism Within You. It may seem strange, but it is nevertheless true that up until ten years ago, scientists had no idea of just how the human brain and nervous system worked purposely or to achieve a goal. They knew what happened. From having made long and meticulous observations, but no single theory of underlying principles tied all these phenomena together into a concept that made sense. R. W. Gerard, writing in Scientific Monthly in June 1946 on the brain and imagination, stated that it was sad but true that most of our understanding of the mind. Would remain as valid and useful if, for all we knew, the cranium were stuffed with cotton wadding. However, when man himself set out to build an "quote unquote" electronic brain, and to construct goal-striving mechanisms of his own, he had to discover and utilize certain basic principles. Having discovered them, these scientists began to ask themselves. Could this be the way that the human brain worked? Also, could it be that in making man, our Creator had provided us with a servo mechanism more marvelous and wonderful than any electronic brain or guidance system ever dreamed of by man, but operating according to the same basic principles? In the opinion of famous cybernetic scientists like Dr. Norbert Weiner. Dr. John von Neumann and others, the answer was an unqualified yes. Your built-in guidance system. Every living thing has a built-in guidance system or goal-striving device put there by its creator to help it achieve its goal, which is, in broad terms, to live. In the simpler forms of life, the goal to live simply means physical survival for both the individual and the species. The built-in mechanism in animals is limited to finding food and shelter, avoiding or overcoming enemies and hazards, and procreation to ensure the survival of the species. In man, the goal to live means more than mere survival. For an animal to live simply means that certain physical needs must be met. Man has certain emotional and spiritual needs which animals do not have. Consequently, for man to live encompasses more than physical survival and procreation of the species. It requires certain emotional and spiritual satisfactions as well. Man's built-in success mechanism also is much broader in scope than an animal's. In addition to helping man avoid or overcome danger, and the sexual instinct which helps keep the race alive, the success mechanism in man can help him get answers to problems, invent, write poetry, run a business, sell merchandise, explore new horizons in science. Attain more peace of mind, develop a better personality, or achieve success in any other activity which is intimately tied in to his living, or makes for a fuller life. The success instinct. A squirrel does not have to be taught how to gather nuts, nor does it need to learn that it should store them for winter. A squirrel born in the spring has never experienced winter, yet in the fall of each year it can be observed busily storing nuts to be eaten during the winter months when there will be no food to be gathered. A bird does not need to take lessons in nest building, nor does it need to take courses in navigation, yet birds do navigate thousands of miles, sometimes over open sea. They have no newspapers or TV to give them weather reports, no books written by explorers or pioneer birds to map out for them the warm areas of the earth. 
Nonetheless, the bird knows when cold weather is imminent and the exact location of a warm climate, even though it may be thousands of miles away. In attempting to explain such things, we usually say that animals have certain instincts which guide them. Analyze all such instincts and you will find they assist the animal to successfully cope with its environment. In short, animals have a success instinct. We often overlook the fact that man too has a success instinct, much more marvellous and much more complex than that of any animal. Our creator did not shortchange man. On the other hand, man was especially blessed in this regard. Animals cannot select their goals. Their goals, self-preservation and procreation, are preset, so to speak, and their success mechanism is limited to these built-in goal images, which we call instincts. Man, on the other hand, has something animals haven't, creative imagination. Thus, man of all creatures is more than a creature. He is also a creator. With his imagination, he can formulate a variety of goals. Man alone can direct his success mechanism by the use of imagination or imaging ability. We often think of creative imagination as applying only to poets, inventors and the like. But imagination is creative in everything we do. Although they did not understand why or how imagination sets our creative mechanism into action, serious thinkers of all ages, as well as hard-headed practical men, have recognised the fact and made use of it. Imagination rules the world, said Napoleon. Imagination of all man's faculties is the most godlike, said Glenn Clark. The faculty of imagination is the great spring of human activity and the principal source of human improvement. Destroy this faculty and the condition of man will become as stationary as that of the brutes, said Dugald Stewart, the famous Scottish philosopher. You can imagine your future, says Henry J. Kaiser, who attributes much of his success in business to the constructive, positive use of creative imagination.